Hola, hola Agris, bienvenidos de nuevo a mi canal de YouTube. Hello Agris and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Este fin de semana viajamos hasta Hamburgo, Alemania, para hacer una visita a mi hermana. Y en nuestra estancia allí aprovechamos a visitar algunas de las empresas del grupo Frigga. This weekend we traveled to Hamburg, Germany to visit my sister and on our trip there we went to visit some of the member companies that belong to the Frigga group. Nuestra primera parada fue en Maquinaria Zafir, donde nos recibieron con esta super entrada que me hizo muchísima ilusión. Our first stop was at Zafir Machinery, where they received us with this huge entrance, which made me so happy and excited for the visit. Freca es una empresa alemana compuesta por varias empresas miembro, como os he comentado antes, muy especializada sobre todo en el tema de fabricación de maquinaria agrícola y de pequeñas piezas. Cuando llegamos allí, Fieldex estaba listo para enseñarnos todo sobre Zafir. Freca es una empresa alemana que tiene una gran presencia en el sector de la agricultura, especialmente porque se especializan en fabricar maquinaria agricultura y pequeñas partes. Este aquí es Felix, y cuando llegamos a Zafir, él estaba listo para mostrarnos la parte de la exhibición, sus almacenes y también los talleres de donde montan toda la maquinaria de agricultura. Y nos hablamos con él un poco sobre lo que hacen en Zafir. Felix, buenas tardes, estamos aquí en la Zafir en Bocco, ¿verdad? Uh, tell us a little bit about Safir uh, Machinery, what you guys do, uh, what the company um, fabricates and just how uh, you work in your everyday life. Um, um, yes, we are here in Bokel in the northwest of Germany, um, exactly between Hamburg and Bremen, um, two big uh, cities in Germany. And um, yes, here in Bokel we have uh, 90 employees. Um, divided into um, 30 employees in the office and the construction department and uh, 60 employees uh, as mechanics and in the logistics department. Uh, we have a very wide product range uh, from grassland technology products to soil tail tillage uh, products to a front loader attachments and um, the larger equipment and something like that. Um, and we so uh, we approx approx literally have um, nearby 600 uh, products, uh, 600 different products with um, a lot of uh, accessory accessory parts, oh, such a tank stuff. <laughs> that's that's um, really nice. Um, and uh, the customers of us could customize their products uh, like their wishes, and. Yes, we also um, have uh, some future markets in mind, like um, the carbon farming, like um, the flat cultivation. We have um, flatbed cultivators uh, who works in a deepness of uh, two or three centimeter maximum, mm -hmm. uh, or a maximum, and uh, they are able to um, do mechanical weed control. Um, they create fine earth. They um, get uh, failed grain seeds to grow and improve the straw quality after the harvester, uh, especially with our straw hero. Right. I think that's very important to uh, generate machinery that it's uh, better for both farmers mm -hmm. and also the environment that they're working with. It's very important to have in mind that we need to take care of the earth that we're working with in order for us to keep being able to use it um, but as well you're thinking of on the farmer you're thinking oh uh, the farmer needs to have like uh, the best um, crop management possible they need to have like very efficient uh, working machinery so I think um, your company focuses uh, on both things and I think that is very important it's it's very nice that uh, you do that and you're always like thinking a step of a step of as a step ahead and thinking of the future and uh, we see your catalog here uh, I think they can also check it out in your website mm -hmm. right exactly. um, as Safira as we're saying they they work with machinery how much how uh, much machinery do you generate every year or like uh, how do you work with uh, farmers to like specialize that machinery or what is your way of working uh, first of all, if we um, establish new products, uh, we work together with uh, farmers directly, mm -hmm. with uh, universities, um, 
and uh, we have 12 own uh, mechanical uh, mechanical 12 own engineers um, in the uh, construction department so we have a lot of knowledge um, and a lot of knowledge is necessary uh, for this work product program I think and per year we sell uh, 15,000 um, tools and machines um, of all our um, product areas and we have uh, nearby 5,000 machines in stock uh, generally. We took a walk before, we saw all the machinery that you guys have. As I said before, you're like innovating and creating tools to mm -hmm. uh, make farming easier mm -hmm. and uh, as well take care of the, of the environment. So I don't know, like um, how could we, for example, uh, uh, transmit that message to farmers from all over around the world not just from germany or from spain mm -hmm. that it is very important to innovate to work with uh country partners mm -hmm. like like we are it's uh, we came to visit you today because mm -hmm. we wanted to see how um companies in germany that uh work in the agriculture sector uh mm -hmm. function because i think it's very good to bring those ideas to our countries mm -hmm. so that we can all grow together mm -hmm. and make the farming uh, sector bigger, stronger, and because we are all confronted in the European U the Union, especially yeah. with uh, similar problems mm -hmm. or similar permissions or something like that, and we as a producer must react uh, to these problems, to these topics, especially uh, as I said, the weed control um, and the um, restriction in. Um, in relation to pesticides and, and something like that, right? Um, and there, our tools are uh, uh, very cheap and a very simple solution um, to get an answer to these future and to these uh, problems. Or problems uh, are a little bit too hard uh, to describe. Um, these topics we have yeah, in the agricultural these inconveniences business. we can find sometimes. Exactly, they're not big problems but th they are things that uh, need to be mm -hmm. not fixed but improved and yeah, there's a change yeah Th there's a change in the machinery a, a change in the in the mind um, of the farmers mm -hmm. um, and a lot of farmers um, comes to us and said we need uh, these tools we need uh, tools like a flatbed cultivator right. like a knife roller uh, like a straw harrow um, because we want to uh, be a part of this change right um, in the yeah, mind of the complete um, of the complete agricultural business, right? Because I think we also have the uh, not we because we are in the farming sector, but I think uh, especially people that live in more urban uh, areas and places, I think they have like the wrong idea or the wrong mindset mm -hmm. towards farmers or like companies that are uh, involved in in agriculture. Mm -hmm. I think they have this idea that we are. Uh, maybe not as technologically advanced as as another a company or or person who works in the city mm -hmm. and I think we need to like tell the world that companies like this are making machinery like yours which is very specialized very modern and farmers like us um, need to know uh, how to use these uh, machinery it's not easy to do so and it's just another job that takes as much uh, qualification mm -hmm. and as much professionalism as mm -hmm. for example being a, a doctor or a policeman so I think uh, we need to tell the world that we are very technologically advanced we saw it with uh, your machinery we saw it with the uh, uh, tractors you, uh, you work with here for example in in the warehouse or in the workshop so mm -hmm. um, from my my side as a farmer, congratulations to your company because I think you're doing a very good job to Thank you. <laughs> uh, to improve farming, to help farmers, and to basically uh, give the good idea and the good side of agriculture and farming to the world. So from my side, that's what I have to say. Thank you for having us here today. I'm very happy to, to be able to visit you and to see uh, how you work. I hope that we can take many ideas to Spain and that uh, we can all start working together to improve farming, improve agriculture, and to make the world a, a better place, stating that farming is very necessary mm -hmm. since we are like the primary sector and everyone basically depends mm -hmm. on, on us. So I think that's very important. It was also a pleasure for us to meet you 
and uh, yes, greetings uh, to the new possible Zafi customers in Spain. <laughs> Muchas gracias, Agris. Bueno, hasta aquí la visita de hoy con Safir. Espero que hayáis disfrutado de toda la maquinaria que ellos producen aquí. Espero que, que os haya gustado. Ya sabéis, si podéis entrar en su página web, you can access their, their web page if you want to uh, check out their catalog or learn more about the company. Y bueno, eso es todo por hoy. Espero que, que disfrutéis de este vídeo y nos vemos prontito. And that's it for part one of our visit to the member companies of the Africa Group. In this video we visited Safir and in the next video we will visit Granite Parts and Africa Land Machinery which is where they have the new agriculture machinery. So stay tuned for part two because the Granite Parts warehouse is incredibly amazing. Bueno, Agris, hasta aquí la parte 1 de nuestra visita a las compañías miembros del Grupo África. Estad atentos a la parte 2 de esta visita que será a Granite Parts y a Africa Land Machinery, que es donde tienen la a, maquinaria agrícola eh, nueva, todo tipo de tractores, cosechadoras y aperos agrícolas. Y además veremos el super almacén de Granite Parts que la verdad es digno de ver. Un besito, Agris, y nos vemos pronto en la parte 2.